Thank you so much. Well, tonight, a statewide preparation for the funeral service of fallen Irmo firefighter James Moeller. The 25-year-old died in the line of duty while helping the Columbia Fire Department during a three-alarm fire last Friday. Andrew Fancher spoke with community leaders encouraging you to pay your respects in a public service tomorrow. Firefighters across the Midlands say they're helping the Irmo Fire District as they not only mourn the loss of James Muller, but prepare for the fallen firefighters' last ride. First responders call Muller's loss the ultimate sacrifice and say the grieving process for this hero is far from over. He came to the fire and, and now he's in heaven, you know. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. The Palmetto State is mourning the loss of a husband, a father, and a first responder. 25-year-old James Michael Muller left Irmo Fire District headquarters late Friday afternoon to assist Columbia in a three-alarm fire at the Tropical Ridge Apartments. Anybody who will run into harm's way to save people that he doesn't know, that's a hero to me. I'm sure his baby's going to grow up knowing his dad was a hero. His dad was sacrificed his life to save other people. Irmo Mayor Barry Walker says 19 people were rescued from the blaze before the apartment collapsed on several firefighters, injuring six and killing one. Muller's death was announced that evening, marking the first ever casualty in the Irmo Fire District since their founding in 1963. So, um, for me personally, um, it's almost like I lost a firefighter. Columbia Fire Chief Aubrey D. Jenkins says Muller's death has rippled through the first responder community. In his first interview since Friday's tragedy, Jenkins says firefighters from across the state stand behind Muller's wife and child on their road to healing. Fire service is a family. It's a family of men dedicated to helping the community and doing everything they can to keep the community safe. So when you lose a firefighter, I mean, then, you know, other departments are going to rally around you. And certainly, I know that's what's happening. That's what's going to happen to you uh, even during the funeral. And, you know, and, that, and that's what we do. I'm making sure that we honor his sacrifice as much as we can as a town. And as a citizens, we're all going to come together and pay homage to him and his family for the sacrifice that he gave, you know, saving other people's lives. Here at the Irmo Fire District, first responders and civilians continue pouring in to show their support for Muller. Mayor Walker says his public service begins with a procession on Lake Murray Boulevard around 1.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday. Reporting in Columbia, Andrew Fancher, WIS News 10. And we want to give you a little more information. Because of the planned procession, the South Carolina State Firefighters Association would like everyone to plan ahead for road closures tomorrow. Lake Murray Boulevard from Nursery Road to Interstate 26 will be shut down from 1 p.m. to 1.30 for the funeral procession. You're asked to avoid that area.